Hello, math makers. Thank you for showing up again today. You are making math a little bit easier just by going through this video with me, and I appreciate you being here. Today, we're going to start a two-part lesson on how to break apart numbers to subtract. Uh, now, when we are subtracting, I do. Um, we are going to look at um, the pieces of numbers, and today what I'm going to start doing is I want to start using some of the correct terminology for subtraction. And I'm going to use both what we've been talking about and use some of the official math words that we can use. And we're going to talk about our bigger numbers, and our bigger number is the menu end. That's what it's called. And of course, the smaller number is called the subtrahend, and the answer is called the difference. So if you hear me using those terms today, just know that's what I'm talking about. And we'll continue to use those together um, until we all get used to them. So let's go ahead and look at our first equation. Our first equation is 82 minus 6. Um, now, when we are breaking apart a number, we're going to break apart the smaller number. We're going to break apart the subtrahend, and we're going to make it into smaller numbers to subtract this in our, um, in our head or on paper. So the question is, how do we break this apart? Because there's lots of different ways to make 6, to break that 6 apart. We can do 0 plus 6, 1 plus 5, 2 plus 4, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 0, 5 plus 1, 4 plus 2. There's all these different ways to make 6. Which way do I use to break it apart? Well, there's a little clue that we actually have, and we can find that clue in the larger number. We can find it in the menu end, and it is the ones place. The ones place tells us which one to choose. Now look at the number. I've already underlined it. What number is in the ones place? It's the two. Well, if I know that the two is in the one place, that tells me that I'm going to use <clears throat> two plus four. See how this is a two and this starts with a two. So I'm going to break this six up into a two and a four. And you can see I do that just like this. So I had the 2 and the 4, which we got from 2 plus 4 to do that. Now, now that I know the best way to break it apart, um, I'm going to go ahead and start subtracting. Um, I'm going to start by subtracting 82 minus 2. Now, 82 minus 2 we know is 80. Again, I want to prove that just for those who are sure how I got that answer. I can start at 82. I can take away 2. There's 1. There's Two. So you can see it does equal 80. After that, I'm going to subtract the next number, um, and that is 80 minus 4, because I've already taken away the 2. Now it's time to take away the 4. And 80 minus 4, if I take away these, 1, 2, 3, 4. If I take away 80 minus 4, I get on 76. So we know that the difference, the answer to the subtraction question is 76. So that is the answer to the question. Did you see how we did that? We take the number, we break it apart, and we subtract it in smaller pieces because it's easier to work with smaller pieces. So let's try another one together. 73 minus 8. Again, we're going to break apart the subtrahend. We're going to break apart the smaller number. Um, and let's say, so we're going to find, again, think of all the ways to make 8. Start thinking about these in your head. What are some ways I can make 8? See if you can name some of the ones I'm going to name. 0 plus 8. 1 plus 7. 2 plus 6. 3 plus 5. 4 plus 4. 8 plus 0, 7 plus 1, 6 plus 2, 5 plus 3. Those are all different ways to make 8. So again, here's the question. Which one do I use? How do I know how to break apart 8 to make solving this subtraction equation a little bit easier? Again, just like we did last time, we're going to look at the ones place of the menu end, the ones place of the larger number, and we see a 3 there. Now, I bet you already know which one to use, don't you? 
uh, you should be guessing 3 plus 5 because we have a 3 in the 1's place. So we're going to go right down here and we're going to choose 3 plus 5. So 3 plus 3 and the 5 are going to be the way we break up an 8. We're going to subtract the 3 first. We know that 73 minus 3 is 70. Again, let's prove that. I have 73 already marked. I'm going to take away 3. 1, 2, count with me, and 3. And it does get 70. And so because essentially what we're doing on that is we're taking away the, when we subtract 3 from 73, we're taking away that 3 and we're making it a 0, which is what we do. We take away all the 1s until there's 0 on that. Um, next, we're going to subtract the 5, 70 minus 5. Now, again, we probably can do that in our heads. You probably already know what the answer is, but let's go ahead and prove it. 1, count with me, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 70 minus 5 is 65. We know that's true. So, since we stopped at 65, and we've taken away the 3, we've taken away the 5, we know that 65 is the answer. Is that the same thing you got? Let's do another one. 64 minus 7. Now, usually on these videos, I'm going to do maybe 3 or 4 questions, and that's going to be it. I don't want to do a bunch because I want to keep the lessons kind of short. Let's start with 64 minus 7. Again. Which number are we going to break apart? The subtrahend, the smaller one, the 7. So again, think of all the ways to make 7. Think about them in your head. You can write them down if you want to or just start thinking about them. We have 0 plus 7, 1 plus 6, 2 plus 5, 3 plus 4, 7 plus 0, 6 plus 1, 5 plus 2. 4 plus 3. Those are all different ways to make 7. Again, we have to ask ourselves, which is the best way to break this number apart? Just like we have done on the other two, we look at the ones place. <clears throat> this time we have a what in the ones place? What is it? It's a 4. So we look for the one that starts with a 4. And I think I have found it. It's way over here. We have 4 plus 3. So when I break this 7 up, I'm going to break it up into a 4 and a 3. And then I'm going to start subtracting. 64 minus 4. So to, we know that 64 minus 4 is 60. Again, let's prove it. I have 64 already marked. Take away 4. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we know that that is indeed true. And next, we're going to subtract the 3. So we've already subtracted the 4. Now it's time to do the 3. 60 minus 3, we know, is going to be 57. Again, let's prove it. 1, 2, 3. So we know that 60 minus 3 is 57. I've taken away the 4. We've taken away the 3. We've landed on the 57, which means 57 is the answer. It is the difference in this subtraction question. Now, let's just do one more together. This time, I'm taking away the hundreds chart. We're not going to have it. And I'm also taking away the tens and the ones chart. We're not going to have it. Because we need to be able to figure this out without a tens frame, without the chart on the side, and without the hundreds frame. So now I have 56 minus 9. We look at the ones place again, correct? What is in the ones place? Hmm. We know that we can take that number in the ones place, and that's going to be what we use to break apart our subtrahend. So we take um, that, and we have a 6 in the ones. So we know that we're going to use a 6 to break it apart. So what plus 6 equals 9? I can easily count up. If I don't know this in my head already, if it's not already stuck here, I can just count up. I can start with 6, and I can start counting. 7, 8, 9, that's 3. So I know that I can put 3 there. So now I can start subtracting. 56 minus 6. 
And just like we did the other three times, we know that when we take away this six from this six, we're going to end up with no ones there. And if I take away all the ones, there's going to be a zero. So 56 minus six is 50. Now I'm going to take away the three and 50 minus three. I can count backwards. 49, 48, 47. And 47 is the answer. So that's how we solve it. So we don't have to have a hundreds chart. We don't have to have the tens and the ones um, chart either. We can do this just based upon the numbers that we know. So that's the end of part one. Thanks for coming today. Tomorrow we will look at part two of the video. Guys, you're getting better at math every day. Thanks so much for joining me.